so we are uh, going to present the today uh, the topic is consolidation and pallet planning so this is one of the biggest challenge are uh, what we have seen in multiple uh, customers and this is a repetitive problem what we saw especially for the retailers and manufacturing uh, sectors so that's the one of the reason we thought uh, come up with some kind of a technical uh, it, you know, if you try to concentrate a uh, little bit deeper into the presentation, it, it's it's going to have a lot of technical side of it. Uh, uh, if you follow the business scenario and how we resolve, it's not a new thing which we tried uh, in the customization side of the OTM, but it is out of the box of OTM. Made the few configurations here and there and then um, make it the easy wise uh, to do the pallet wise plan. So rather than just the weight and volume calculation of while you are doing the planning, we try to do a number of pallets. If I have, if I want to go with number of pallets and then the, uh, the how, we, how we resolve, that is what we are going to present. Uh, Morally will take care of uh, the presentation. And I will be here uh, if any Q&A. Thanks. Hi. Good evening, everyone. And uh, thank you each and everyone for attending this conference in Tirupati. So I'm very excited to see all of you here. So coming to mine, uh, this is Morley. So I'm having total 11 years of experience in OTM. So I have been in Sujan from last 11 years. So I have joined from the day one of the uh, company started. So this is the first time I'm presenting the paper in uh, SIG. So I would like to thank the SIG board members for uh, approving my paper for this uh, presentation. So today I'm going to give the presentation on the consolidation and pallet planning. So this is my agenda. So we are going to cover what are the business scenarios and uh, what are the challenges we faced and uh, how do we do the consolidation. So consolidation can be done in multiple ways. So we, we did in two different ways. One is with tie high and the other one with tie high and pack with group. So by using that consolidation, we did the uh, pallet planning. So we can see in the upcoming slides now. So now go to the business scenarios and challenges. So let's take the business scenario. So what is the business scenario here is, so whatever the packaged items or lines having the same type of, uh, same type of pallet configurations, so those those packaged items or lines need to be consolidated into one pallet. So we took two different pallets here. So one we called that as a big pallet, the other one is a small pallet. So this slide, we have seen the big pallet now. So if you observe there, we have total four layers and each layer, if you observe, we have 12 cartons. And each carton we have 10 units. So how do we get the total number of units in a pallet? So by multiplying the number of units per carton into number of layers per pallet and cartons per layer. So now the big pallet contains total 480 units. And this is my small pallet. So here we have two layers and each layer having the four cartons and 20 units per carton. So if we calculate that we can get total 160 units per part per pallet. So which means the big pallet contains total 480 and the small pallet contains 160. So this is the simple scenario. So if you see here we have single order which is contain total three lines. So the first two lines is having the same pallet configuration which is nothing but a big pallet and the second line is related to the small pallet configuration. So based on that count system will automatically calculate the number of pallets. So the first line and then line two, which is a half pallet and half pallet, which is total one big pallet. And the line three, which is 320, is nothing but a two small pallets. So the system should automatically calculate the two pallets. So this is the same as the previous slide, but we give in the deeper level. So total 800 is my total order count. And if you see here, the first two lines in the big pallet and the line three is a small pallet. So this is how we, we consult it. We can see in the technical level. So while we are doing this, these are the challenges we faced. So required data does not exist in the system. So required data in the sense like uh, before we implement this, we don't have the uh, tie high details in the system. So how many number of cartons and how many number of layers in a pallet 
and this kind of information does not exist in the system so after having the multiple discussions with the business so they gave me that they gave us the data so based on that we analyzed it and we did some calculations and we converted it and uh, loaded it to the otm so now we have both the tahe information and as well as the inner pack information that we can see in the package item level so uh, the other one is so they don't know the number of pallets at the order level so because of that each time they were doing some manual adjustments to the shipments sometimes they are adding the pallet sometimes they are removing the pallets so this one unable to plan the shipments based on the pallet count so by using we introduce the year year concept here by using the uh, year year concept we know the uh, by using the year concept we can able to plan the uh, shipments based on the pallet counts so we can see that in the configuration in the upcoming slides and the consolidation so we, the first line if you observe that what we discussed there is no tie high so without the tie high we can't able to consolidate the uh, packaged items and are not able to count the number of pallets and the last one is the uh, system is not uh, picking the right equipment uh, based on the pallet counts so what the business wants so if my order is having 0 to 10 pallets so it should pick the 20 feet container so if the if the orders having from 10 to 20 they want to pick the 40 feet and 20 to 40 they should pick the 40 high cube which means based on the pallet count the system should pick the right equipment group that is what so now what is consolidation so consolidation is nothing but a, a grouping of a same characteristics package items into one pallet so the same characteristic package item in the sense is nothing but a tie high so wherever we have the same tie high at the package item level so those package items need to be consolidated into one pallet so these are the key information in the tie highs so how many number of, number of layers in a pallet and uh, how many number of cartons in a layer so here if we see that the number of units per carton we can call it as a inner pack count and the number of cartons per layer is tai and the number of layers per pallet is hi so this one we already discussed in the previous slides but I, we just put here we are technically executing this scenario now so in this slide if you observe that we have the order information and tie high information and how many units per pallet and how many pallets it should the system should calculate that information we have here so line 1 and line 2 is having the same tie high which means those two lines should go in one pallet and line 3 should go in a different pallet so these are the package items we used to execute this scenario so here we need to observe three things one is the package item type so if you want to consolidate the same package items then the package item type should be same that is one thing and the tie high should be same so if you observe that package item 1 and 2 have the same tie high and the third one is having the different tie high so this is just nothing but a calculation that we already seen so this is the key configuration so whatever the a uh, tie high we have the transport handling unit and the packaging unit the same thing we have to have at the order release line level if this data matches then it will sync and automatically calculate and consolidate the package items so this is the wide open transport handling we, we used so so online help or uh, any other any other uh, forums it won't be specifying what to be the linking so that is the where our consultants gets the lot of trouble i would i hope the oracle lot team do little bit of more in towards the online help to add these kind of a configurations our life will be lot easier and then the product can be used in a be lot better way okay so once we created the order without this consolidation so by default when we created the order we have total three uh, different package items so all these three package items went into a different pallet so after we executed that it created like this the first line 1 and line 2 have been created in one pallet and line 
which is created in a different palette but if you observe that we have two different uh, two uh, the count is two which means the item package count is 320 which means the small pallet can hold only max 160. So 160 plus 160, which is nothing but a two pallets. So how do we do this consolidation? Is just after having this all this tie information, we have to use the generate ship unit action, either through workflow or through the manual action. Then system will automatically calculate and uh, consolidate. So this is the another scenario. So which is similar to the first one, but we used the pack with group functionality in this scenario. So if you observe here, so we have total four lines and each line is having the same package count, 120 each. But here line one and line three, which is having the same package item and line two and line four having the same package item. So which is sharing the big pallet configuration. So it can hold max 480 units per pallet. Yeah, so before uh, he is going to uh, continue in the business scenario too, there is one uh, flaw we still uh, don't have the how to answer this. Uh, there is a, if this, <coughs> this concept is working, if the same pallet is or the same ship unit is going multiple one leg, two leg or three legs. Let's assume that if you are uh, retail from warehouse to uh, DC and then DC to oh, I want to split the pallets, this concept will not work. So yeah, the repalletization in between the in transit, this will not work. So once you build the pallet, it has to be until it reaches to the customer or whatever the final destination, the, the pallet should be the same concept. There are cases where we have a customer, they're doing the repalletization. So this concept was not working. So we did try uh, to make the little bit of uh, over, uh, I would say the uh, with the shipment as work or concept, we made that change. Thank you. So this is the slide which we have both the order details and the tie high, same as the previous scenario. But here the highlighted uh, green color, which is having the same package items, and the blue color, which is having the package item too. So, but if you observe that, all these four package items having the same tie high. But business wants wherever the package item is same, then only those package item related lines need to be consolidated in one pallet. So in this scenario, if you execute this, it should create two different pallets. Line one and line three in go in one pallet and two and four should go in another pallet. So the package item one and two, which is having the same tie high. So before we uh, execute that uh, generate ship unit action, so by default we have the same tie high because of that all the lines have been consolidated into one pallet. So after we use that pack with group functionality, we will achieve that we can go with the two pallets. So what is the pack with group? So pack with group is uh, nothing but a uh, console. We can do in uh, different ways. We can use it different ways. So one is we can combine all the lines into one pallet or you can uh, differentiate each line to move into a different ship unit. So here, if you observe that in the screenshot, we have three lines and each line is having the same package item. So in the pack with group, if you observe line one and line three is having the same value and line two is having the different value. So in this case, how the system will calculate is, so the line one and line three will create a different ship unit and line two will go in a different ship unit. So at the order release line level, we have the option pack with group. So there we need to pass the value. Whatever the values we have the same, those related lines will be consolidated into one ship unit. Here line one and line three is sharing the same package item. So that is the reason I pass it the same package item at the pack with group level. So after passing this information, so system calculated like this. So line one and three, which is nothing but a package item one, which, is, which went into pallet one and uh, two and four lines went into a different pallet. So we completed the consolidation part. So by using this consolidation part, we will see how we can plan the orders based on the pallet counts. So in order to plan based on the pallet counts, we used the uh, ERU option here. So I think everyone is aware of this, but I just want to connect this ERU with our requirement. 
So it, it will allow you to define specific capacity limits at the equipment group level. This we need to give at the equipment group level and as well as the order release ship unit level. Then only it will sync and it will try to calculate the number of pallets and then based on that it will pick the right equipment group. So this is the high level requirements like let's take an example if my orders is having 0 to 10 pallets when we are planning that order it should pick the 20 feet container and if my orders is having greater than 10 and less than or equal to 20 then it should pick the 40 feet container and if from 20 to 40 less than or equal to 40 it should pick the 40 high cube so based on the pallet count it should pick the right equipment group so how it should how it will pick you will see now so this is the uh, equipment group that we use at the uh, ERUs. So for 20 feet, I'm restricted to pick on max 10 pallets. And for 40 feet, 20 pallets. And 40 high cube, I, I restricted to 40 pallets. So based on this ERU restriction, while it is planning, it will pick the right equipment group. So I took the simple scenario, the order with uh, uh, 10 pallets. So I took the big pallet configuration. So one pallet is having 480, right? So based on that 4,800, which is nothing but 10 pallets. So the ERU at ship unit level. So once we have that pallet count, we need to update that pallet count at the ship unit equipment reference unit section. So once we pass this, then system will check this count and based on that, it will pick the right equipment group. So I plan the order into a shipment. So if you observe that, it picked the equipment group 20 feet version because of 10 pallet. And this one is also same, but just we have that uh, 20 pallets and it picked the 40 feet container. Here the weight and volumes are not the concern here. These are the only the number of uh, pallets is the one based on that it's uh, doing the planning. So that is one different scenario. Based on the pallet count, system should pick the right equipment group. But coming to this scenario, so we are using the same equipment group, but different pallet counts. So let's take an example of when the order is going from USA, it should plan max 10 pallets. If my order is going from Canada, it should, it should plan max 8 pallets. So how do we uh, configure this? So I created two different uh, ERUs. And I updated in that at the respective equipment groups. So for USA, I updated restricted to 10 pallets and Canada to 8 pallets. So which is 10 pallets. But here in the equipment reference unit, we have to update the right ERU. So based on that, it will check in the equipment group and pick the right equipment group. So in order to plan based on this ERUs, we have to check this parameter to true. By default, it will be false. 